It's a bantamweight matchup between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Cody Garbrandt. Arguably the best pure boxer in this UFC bantamweight division, here is the former UFC bantamweight champion, Cody Garbrandt, 32 and one as an amateur boxer, outstanding training camp. The grappling, the wrestling is there as well. A Lot of plus skills for Cody Garbrandt as he makes the walk to the octagon tonight. This guy has tremendous ground technique and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Well, the Sugar Show is in full effect, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, the undefeated Sugar Sean O'Malley, representing the MMA lab there in Glendale, Arizona. Of course, he came off of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series, but since he has stepped foot in the big show, O'Malley has only gotten better. This is a big game player. He has not let the hype and the increasing pressure get to him. Sean O'Malley back for more tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. the tape for this bantamweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Cody No Love And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. There you go. First round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's and go. we are underway. Well, it's been remarkable to watch the UFC former champion, Cody Garbrandt, grow up inside the octagon. You know about the boxing skills. You know about the legendary toughness. The chin thus far in the octagon has held up. And Cody Garbrandt still very much a factor here at 135 pounds. Trying to get a head kick in. All right, so here we go with round one. Oh! Nice leg kick. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. He's just picking him apart. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. 
Level change there. Look at this! Take down! Oh, strong punch there by O'Malley. All right, well, he gets back to his feet here, Joe, but he looks like he is in a world of trouble. That one hurt. Good defense there. And he connects with the punch there. Lands the right hand. Nice punch by Sean O'Malley. Another takedown attempt here. Nice left hand. He's posturing up here. He lands a big shot from the bottom. O'Malley gets up yet again here, Joe. That's the good news, but he does not look well. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means the ball oh! looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Oh, very nice. And there comes the separation now. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice punch there by O'Malley. Oh! How about that chin? Really missed with that right hand. Well, he's connecting with his punches now. Took him a while to find the range. He has found it now. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Nice jab by Cody. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the straight left hand. Just over two minutes to go. That's again the experience. Oh, tagged him. Level change there, goes for the takedown. He, he landed a left hand there. O'Malley gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow there doing the damage. Oh, and he connects there. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hooked. Wow! Can he oh. hang on? Oh, he's getting tapped. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Garbrandt's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. That punch will work right through the guard. Look at that nasty jab. Garbrandt's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, Malley gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Now a level change. And he switches his stance yet again. Nice combination there. With conviction to the bottom. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. He lands the head kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Nice leg kick, very quickly done. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. There is the horn, but not before he got a huge knockdown. A great round from Garbrandt. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it from another camera angle. That was awesome, okay? You really hurt him there. You knocked him down, almost ready to go, okay? This round, I want him out of there. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us.
Round two here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, effective strike there by Sean O'Malley. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. And he connects there. Effective use of the jab there by O'Malley. Switching stances here. Well, we were expecting that we would see a heavy dose of leg kicks out of him here tonight, and there it is right on cue as he lands his first leg kick of the fight. The defense better start checking some of these, or he's gonna be limping back to the locker room in the not-too-distant future. He's hurt. He's hurt. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Carl Branch got the double underhooks here in the clinch now. Back to over under. Garbrandt's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Tying up in the clinch here. Flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Effective punch there by Cody Garber. And speed, man. Drop down for a double. Just over three minutes now to go. Back up to his feet. How about that shin? So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Takedown attempt here, Joe. Oh, beautiful kick there. that takedown attempt. You'll need a better shot than that to get him down. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh! That one hurt. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Plans an outside leg kick of his own. Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's check it out from a different angle. Check out this angle here. Boom. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Here's Bruce Buffer with Ladies the official decision. Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cody. So congratulations to Cody Nolov Garbrandt, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. I thought put it all together beautifully here tonight. He was favored to win this fight, but he certainly came through with the performance befitting a champion. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him bolt for that post-fight press conference and immediately call for a title shot as he looks to become a two-time 